Sandra, Yuta, you are two of the three founders of a company called Changing Environments. What does the company do? Changing Environments updates the city for the mobile generation. More than half of the world's population is moving towards cities and our transportation, our energy systems, our public spaces are really overwhelmed. And Changing Environment is addressing a lot of needs that are happening now with everyone moving to the city and living a very urban and mobile lifestyle. So with your cell phone always in your pocket, always connected to the internet, connected to each other and to the city, we are designing smart urban furniture that connects us to the urban realm. So our first product is Sufa. It's a solar powered bench that can charge people's devices outside, um, mobile phones, tablets. At the same time, it hosts uh, an array of sensors inside, so it co collects environmental data. Right now, we are tracking how much energy we are collecting throughout a day, throughout a week and how much uh, people are charging, when they're charging, for how long they're charging. And we are at the same time, we are already testing a few additional sensors um, around noise and air pollution tracking. How did you two meet? Actually, we met here in, in Boston through a friend. Yeah, at the time, I was designing the interior design for the new co-working space, as well as the furniture. And Sandra was working on a concept, Connected Tables, and we were looking into um, integrating some of that technology yeah. perhaps in the workspace. That's yeah. how we started ta yeah. talking and there was a lot of synergy there. So once a team nucleus was formed, you began developing your product concept for the SUFA. Tell us about this process. Um, the concept started way back um, when uh, I was taking a class at MIT thinking about how to foster interactions in hotel lobbies and I was doing some research and what really struck me was the power of power. So people were huddling around power outlets within um, those hotel lobbies. And I was fascinated by how this could create social interactions. And so um, together with the team, um, we built an interactive table where people were brought together through power. And I actually met Paul English, and he was saying, well, you really need to think about rapid deployment. Like, how are you going to get your product out there? And so we were thinking together about maybe it should be just a slat. So you go to, to a seating area like a bench, and you can go in the urban environment and put a slat there and have little cords coming. You can plug into that slat. So basically, we're looking into how can we fit all the technology into a, a slat that could be somewhat uh, universal. And so we have uh, solar panels on the top and we have outlets on the sides coming down. And so the idea here was that, that we could actually retrofit existing benches. At the simplest level, I can go find a beautiful sofa bench somewhere in a beautiful city and get my phone charged up, right? Yeah, that's correct. In fact, what we're trying to do is like we want to get people out from behind. They, with the digital devices, now they're very sort of isolated. They're uh, spend more time inside being connected. We want to pull them out back into the city where they actually can connect with their mobile devices in a physical environment with other people. That's great. Now, Sandra, you talk about cities being more connected and being more responsive. Why is that important? Well, I mean, right now, more than half of the world's uh, population moved to cities, right? And cities are exciting. Yut Yuta, for example, she lived in London and Shanghai. I lived in Barcelona and Paris. We're, we're both here in Boston now. Um, and we're noticing cities being more and more crowded, right? So people are coming into the city. Um, we have uh, transportation systems that are overwhelmed by the amount of people going in day, day and night. Um, and the same with public spaces. And um, what becomes more and more noticeable is that we're moving a lot within those cities um, because they are so crowded. And we need these small little oases within, within the city where we can come to a rest, where we can charge up and our devices can charge up. Um, and so I think um, we really need to, to think about not only smart and connected cities, but also social cities, cities where we have time to, to relax and, and sit down. The new generation actually drives a lot less they use much more public transportation, but they also like to walk and bike. So they're out in the environment much more rather than you know, driving in their very confined space where previously they were able to charge. So um, that's, that's another trend that, that we are seeing. So it sounds like, at its heart, your mission is to reimagine what a city could be. 
well. We're imagining how the city could be from a very user-centered point of view. It actually addresses a very urgent need today.